Asia Rugby has officially invited the Guam Rugby Women's Sevens team to compete in the Asia Rugby Women's Sevens Olympic qualifiers in Hong Kong and Japan. The first leg will occur November 28th and 29th. All interested female players should contact GNAXG at live.com. That's G-N-A-C-S-G at live.com by August 14th. Official coaches session will be held on November 14th and 15th with national team coaches Willie Hetaraka and Ian Kyle. Players are asked to be present for the first session at 5 in the morning at Custom Fitness in Anigua. This is mandatory for all female athletes interested in representing Guam in Rugby 7s in Hong Kong and Japan. The Guam Badminton Federation is seeking junior badminton players to try out for the junior national team. The traveling team will be participating in the 2015 Oceania Championships in New Zealand. For more information on tryout schedules and other information regarding the team, email the Guam National Badminton Federation at lagucfan at yahoo.com. That's L-A-G-U-S-E-F-A-N at yahoo.com. Xterra Island will debut a new three-and-a-half-mile course at the Tarzan Falls Trail Run on Sunday, August 30th, according to Pivot Marketing Director Kelly Wedd. The start line will be located at the Tarzan Falls entrance on Cross Island Road in Santa Rita. Showtime is at 5 in the morning with the race starting at first light or approximately 6 a.m. Registration is $10 per runner and is available online at XterraIsland.com until Saturday, August 29th at 5 p.m. Limited race day registration will be available at $20 a runner. For more information on the trail run or any other Xterra Island event series, visit XterraIsland.com or contact 646-4448. In other news, the Guam Air National Guard climbed their way out of the loser's bracket to win three straight games along their way to take another softball title in convincing fashion. The softball team included spouses and sons of airmen from all four units in the Guam Air National Guard. The combined efforts of all players, young and seasoned, helped keep the guard in the game throughout the league. In the first championship game, the guard took the win 16-12, forcing the final championship game, dominating their opponents 38-8 in the final to take their 14th intramural softball title in 15 years. In basketball news, Guam's only FIBA licensed referee, Felix Benaventi Jr., will be heading to New Zealand to take part in the U16 Oceana Pacific Championships this weekend. Boys and girls teams from Australia, New Zealand, New Caledonia, and Tahiti will be participating in this event. Felix Benaventi Jr. said, I am very excited to represent our island as a referee in this tournament. It'll be my first FIBA-appointed assignment. I've refereed with most of the officials from previous tournaments, so I'll be glad to see some old friends. Quality of basketball competition in our region is getting better, and it's good to see Guam competing well against the best competition in the region. I'm fortunate to have this opportunity, and it'll be an awesome experience learning from the best in the region.